Alright ladies and gentlemen, hello, welcome back to another game seminar video, Ethan here, um, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the uh, gameplay trailer for The Walking Dead No Man's Land, which is the mobile game coming um, in October, launching alongside Season 6 of The Walking Dead. Now, we've been waiting so long um, for news on this game, I, I know I contacted um, Next Games, which are the... Uh, developer making the game. You may know them from making um, Compass Point West, which came out a few months ago, um, which actually looked like a pretty decent game. I didn't download it, but it looked decent. Um, but yeah, we've been waiting over a year because we had this sort of teaser um, that came out, and it was pretty awesome, but obviously if the game's going to be a mobile game, it's not going to look anything like that. That was more sort of a teaser, and uh, this was the first official um, gameplay. Um, for its alongside release, and I'm just going to give my thoughts on it. It's only a 43 second video, um, but firstly, graphically, um, the game looks very impressive. Obviously, it's going to be coming to mobile platforms, so iOS. Um, not too sure about Android, to be honest, but I also don't really care because I have an iPhone, so <laughs> screw you on Android. But I imagine it'll definitely come to Android, especially with um, due to the fact that. They really are pushing this as the official mobile game of The Walking Dead. They're really trying to feed off the success of the TV show because we haven't really seen um, many games based off The Walking Dead TV show yet. We've seen the Telltale game which is based off the comic series, although it doesn't really matter because it doesn't really overlap too much with the comic series. Um, then there is the... Um, New Escapists game which is based off the comic and then there is um, another mobile game uh, I can't remember what it's called and there is, uh, what was the other one? But basically all of the um, the games that have come out so far are based off the comic series and uh, the only game that's been based off the TV series was the mediocre FPS uh, Survival Instinct which featured Merle and Daryl before the TV show um, I've not played that game but it didn't get too good reviews but um, it's very exciting that this game is going to be set in the same universe as the TV show. They've spearheaded it and sort of um, fed on the popularity of Daryl Dix. And you can see throughout the trailer he sort of narrates it going, Don't you get it? There's no fast food joints. It's just us and them. Which is obviously very good. They've obviously got Norman Reedus to do that voice, um, which is amazing. And also the likeness to Daryl Dixon, like for an, for an iPhone game, it's fucking awesome if you look at that. It, it looks great for, for Daryl. It's making me worry um, how good the performance of the game is going to be on uh, my iPhone. Because I have an iPhone 5, which is getting on a bit now. Um, games like Fallout Shelter lag a bit um, on it. So it's making me wonder how well this is going to run on my device, if at all, really. If not, then hopefully I'll be able to get it on Android, on Bluestacks, on my PC. And I'll give my thoughts on it that way when it comes out. But... Um, we'll definitely see. Um, but yeah, the Norman Reedus um, voice acting in this trailer was sort of off, I thought. Even though it was him doing it, it sort of sounded like... I don't know, like it it didn't sound like as convincing as he does in the TV show. Um, but obviously, like, doing voice work for games is really hard to get yourself into the, like, mindset of what Daryl of Daryl because like when he's on set in costume and with all the other actors it's a lot easier for him to act. And the other thing as well is Daryl doesn't speak a lot in the TV show. Um, he obviously does speak, he's not he's not mute but he's not Norma from Orange is the New Black but um, when he does he doesn't speak like all the time. Um, but yeah it's awesome that Daryl's in the, in the thing and it obviously seems as though they're trying to feed off of the success of Daryl and just release it in October alongside season 6 and just really push um, the fact that it's the TV game and Daryl's in it. Ooh, you love Daryl, you love the game. Um, even shown even further by the fact that the actual um, app picture for the game, which is a really important thing, because obviously that's what people see when they're on the app store, they're going to be clicking on that that's fucking Daryl's face with the crossbow so like any Walking Dead fan will see that and go holy shit Walking Dead game getting it straight away um, and obviously uh, so that's it's good um, 
you can kind of tell that they're trying to feed off Daryl, but I love Daryl, and it's good to see him in a game, because obviously, as I said, most of them have been based on the comic series, and Daryl doesn't appear in the comics. So in terms of gameplay, um, there looks to be sort of two sides to it. You've got your combat here, which looks like some sort of turn-based strategy thing. You'll have parties such as this with your band of survivors that you can customise. You can see some of the different uh, customization options. These guys here that it shows at the start, um, these three guys are the ones that are shown in the uh, sort of the sort of uh, that that guy definitely is the one that's shown in like the with the preview trailer last year. But they're just sort of basic um, standard people. I think you know you can obviously customize them how you like. I imagine anyway, either that or it's randomized. Um, but you can sort of customize them, the loadouts and stuff, and have them on the field fighting um, into like strategy um, and control it with the, with the uh, touch screen which looks to be really fun and then obviously this is the second side to the gameplay which seems to be a sort of clash of clans vibe um, you know managing resources you've got your farms there and um, expanding your living quarters to uh, see how many you know people can live in your thing you've got med bays to see heal your people it just looks great and um, like honestly if this game is anything like clash of clans because um, I, I love Clash of Clans, if this game's anything like Clash of Clans then it's going to be great because um, you know, Clash of Clans set, a Clash of Clans style strat strategic game set in the Walking Dead universe would just be amazing so um, yeah um, so there's, there's more thing in the gameplay here, different weapons you can use, you can see, you can switch between your characters um, so I've got an XCOM vibe going on as well really um, you know how the different weapons you work from different rifles to uh, melee we weapons and stuff um, and then they've got the classic introduction um, so yeah and another the final thing I want to say is as well is the f how Terminus is featured in this trailer um, it seems as though this game is going to have story whereabouts is the uh, there we go there's sort of like the level structure uh, the prit you got weekly challenges that come you've got um, theatre which I don't know whether that's where you can like watch videos and stuff. You've got your different episodes that you can go through, and uh, it seems that your band of survivors are going to have a, a, a story like campaign that sort of intertwines with um, the survivors from the actual TV show, um, and that's maybe how Daryl's in it because obviously, I imagine um, your group of survivors will be at Terminus at a similar time to when Daryl and Rick and that were at Terminus, um, because there was actually a piece of artwork released which shows survivors inside one of the um, the crates from Terminus and I obviously won't spoil too much if you've not seen the, the show but um, that would be really awesome to play that scene because um, you know it would re be really good to, to feel like I'm in the, the uh, universe of the TV show so the game's looking really promising from here um, I'm, I'm looking forward to downloading it in October and I'm happy that it's coming out in October as well, because as I said, they're feeding off the um, the TV show really, and why wouldn't they? Because when October comes around, the new series of the um, show comes out. Hell yeah, I'm going to get this game, and I'm going to really enjoy it. Um, and I imagine there'll be paywalls there. It'll be a freemium game, um, similar to how Compass Point West and the Clash of Clans work. We'll have like secondary. Um, currencies which you can give real money for all that sort of shit so if you're not into that then um, you know it's you, you might not like the paywall things and stuff like that but um, I personally don't mind it because I've not paid a penny for Clash of Clans and I enjoy it fine um, but yeah I'm really looking forward to this game let me know what you think um, and whenever new gameplay footage is out because uh, I'm really interested in The Walking Dead obviously so I would definitely um, want to cover it so let me know what you think about this game and uh, thanks for watching